Welcome back. It's your boy Z. Um, it's the space between us. Uh, we got Lucky on vacay, and uh, our boy Jacob is filling in. Um, Beat out. You got anything? You know, any good news for the week so far? Dortmund won the DFB Pokal. That's my team. You know, hey, shout out to Dortmund. Shout out to Dortmund. <laughs> um, again, Jacob, thanks for filling in. Um, because you were the guest today, the fill in, you were gonna run the show. Uh, Jacob's gonna pretty much uh, pose questions or options, and we're gonna just go ahead and talk about it. Um, this one is called Scategories. We're gonna play Answer the Internet right now. So we got uh, about seven cards here. We're gonna see how many of them we get through today. Hopefully, all seven. Uh, we're gonna take our time with these and answer hopefully honestly. We'll see what these guys say. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, so let's start with the first question. We got choose one: drink and never be hungover, or drink and never gain weight. Oh Jesus, there's four, dude. Let me let me let me restart this, guys. I'm on bed. <laughs> <laughs> so drink and never be hungover. Drink and never gain weight. Drink and always choose. Oh, always so close, close the, the deal team. with a chick. Or never drink and your team wins a championship. I mean, I feel like my teams are all somewhat close to championships already. So I'm drinking and uh, never being hung over. Um, I'm going to drink and never gain weight. Um, because there's this thing called the beer belly or the keg. <laughs> And uh, and I was gonna say he doesn't need to uh, close a deal with the chick because this man's married already. Yeah. So I'm, if I'm he has it. trouble with that, that's a little problem right there. I mean, <laughs> but I feel like you work out enough all the time to keep it uh, but like I'm, that I'm, anyway. But this is saying like drink like for the rest of my life. Like eventually I'm gonna be done and like I'm hanging up the gloves, I'm hanging up the the cleats, the shoes, whatever you want to call it, and I'm gonna be just drinking and like that's gonna be the sport is drinking. <laughs> right. And right. if I don't gain the weight, that's what I want. What you got? Um, for me, I'm gonna, yeah, I drink and never gain weight too, because you know, for me as a as a pretty skinny guy right now, I have a pretty good uh, metabolism as it is right now. But that's not gonna last forever, and you know, I don't see myself working out the way that he does <laughs> anytime soon. So uh, yeah, I'd like to keep all that weight off. And see, but I can just get like belligerently drunk and not throw up. Well, not no, be no, hungover. No. It didn't say not throw up. It just said that's it part just of being no hungover. hungover. No, 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 no. no. Hungover is the day after. Yeah, yeah, not the day of. So you're no, sloppy. I don't get hungover anywhere. But that's the thing. You're sloppy. I'm doing the no You're throwing thing. up. Yeah, he and then the ate. next day, you're just not All hungover. Right. You're like, oh, last night was wild. All right, guys. Let's move on to the next one. That's stupid. Well, oh, this is a good one. All right. If you could pick any sidekick from any series, any, you know, any whatever you could think of, movie, TV show, whatever, any sidekick. Who would you pick? Okay, what qualifies as a, as a sidekick? Because, again, there's people that play, like, a secondary role, but they're not necessarily a sidekick. So we're going to say, like, anyone who's not, like, a main character in a super movie, or a superhero movie or, like, a, um action movie or, okay. like, well, you know, Star Wars, um, Lord of the Rings or whatever. That, we'll say that counts, too. So a Spider-Man uh, sidekick to Iron Man? No, I mean, Spider-Man has his own movie, so that that's a, that's a superhero right there, if you think about it. Okay. So what do you got? Which, what, who's your sidekick? Me personally, Oh, dude, I don't, I don't want R two D two sitting next to me, man. That that dude. Oh yeah, take care. Yeah, that was mine. This man, it's a walking computer, my guy. Like, come on, he open any door for you as long as it's electronic. You know, probably start any car for you and like super intelligence. Like, come on, man. Plus, he's the realest G in all this uh, Star Wars universe. He hasn't told a single. You know, has it has it sold anybody out at all? Like he knows where everybody is and all that kind of stuff. He he don't talk. Okay, so you like the loyalty? I see that. Yeah, the loyalty. I mean that that actually that that psychic might come true in a couple years. You know. Yeah. It, we, we already got a, a iPhone. You know. That's well, like a, just a mini R R two D two. Yeah. Right. 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 All right. Who you got, Will? Who's your no, sidekick? No, you gotta go first. You took mine. I gotta figure out a different one. All right, my sidekick. Can I have two? Yeah, hey, yeah like, I'll go too. We'll all go right, too. so my my first sidekick would be uh, Brian Griffin uh, from Family Guy. That's a good one. Um, solely because when we think about the last question about drinking, that's my drinking buddy is Brian Griffin. Um, he is hilarious uh, when he's drinking intoxicated. martinis. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, down for anything too. Yep. Down for anything. Man's best friend. All those good things. Because uh, <laughs> being a dog owner, I think that is a dope dog. Um, especially because he can talk and he can chat you up. Um, and he's always down to fight. Like. 
Brian gets down. So it's creative. I like it. Um, and then if we were thinking more of a traditional sidekick, um, I think I would go Aqualad. And the reason why I would go Aqualad is because I can't swim, and okay. if he, you know, can control, you know, the sea creatures, and he can swim, and he can, he can save my life in any like water occasion, which is the only thing that I feel like that can kill me. Plus, if you've ever seen uh, Young Justice, Aqualad is a boss. That dude is a real G. Like, he makes it in the Justice League eventually, I think, because dude is just super cool. I don't even know what to tell you. Yes, yeah, so Aqualad's my, my real super, uh, or my sidekick. Brian Griffin's my, like, OG. All right, what you got, Will? I got Pikachu. Pikachu? Pikachu. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good one. Why? why? I mean, I, apparently he's, like, the best Pikachu in the world, apparently. So you're picking, like, Ash Ketchum's specific Pikachu. Yeah. Not, not any not, Pikachu. Because, Pikachu, like, any Pikachu can just be right, a main right. story of anything, or it's just a Pokemon. But Ash Ketchum's Pikachu. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play the uh, Lucky Advocate. It's not Devil's Advocate, it's Lucky's Advocate. <laughs> um, He talks about Pikachu being one of the worst Pokemon there is. The reason why... Because he gets beat up all the time. He gets murdered. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's supposed to be like this level like five, six, whatever, hundred you want to call him. But like he's always getting his ass beat. So like... When we talk about you wanting just the best Pikachu, like yeah, why did you then, pick him out of all people? But, but think about things. think about who Ash Ketchum's trump card is for the most part of the, yeah. the show is like it's, it's usually Pikachu. Pikachu. Yeah, <laughs> like and and then any size. If me and you Pokemon. were fighting, and you got Aqualad, I'm just gonna zap him. Boom, Aqualad. No, I got Brian Griffin. <laughs> He's gonna come bite you. <laughs> Aqualad actually does control electricity with his like like. Prongs yeah, whatever, his yeah. back and everything, so he, I think he'd be okay. So unless he's in the water. All right, let's not get too far. Okay, in this right. Let's <laughs> move on. Let's move on. So we're gonna we're gonna go to the next question. It's uh, Mary fuck kill gushers fruit by the foot or shark bites. Ooh, okay. Uh, I kick this one off then. All right. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fuck the shit out of gushers. <laughs> Cause like, they, I like, think I think I know what. You're doing the same exact thing I am. So, like, you know, Gushers, they kind of have, like, that same effect, you know, that a woman would have. Oh, jeez. Um, so, I'm going to say Gushers is definitely the one I'm going to fuck. Um, I'm going to say Fruit by the Foot. Um, I got I to gotta, I gotta kill Fruit by the Foot. Oh, we opposite. Yeah, I, I got I to kill Fruit by the Foot because, uh, like, what are you doing being this long? Like, like what are you doing? Like. Why? Why do I need that much in my life? Um, and then shark bites. Something in shark bites are fruit snacks. Yeah. Yep. And fruit snacks are like the OGs. You know, you you probably sneak out of your bed at night to go get them when you like living with your parents, and like they're a nice little like comforting snack. Plus, you think about the two OG fruit snacks from when we were younger and everything. Scooby Doo. Oh, Scooby Doo were the good ones. Like, yeah. Those were the two good ones. Let's yeah. be honest. The blue ones and the Scooby Doo's were the. Yeah. Bomb. All right, what you got, Will? <laughs> I was gonna uh, fuck uh, Gushers, Mary Fruit by the Foot. And kill shark bites. All right, why? Why are you marrying you? Because shark bites are going to bite me in the ass later down the road. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's going to be something that comes up that I didn't know about or that like she does. <laughs> and it's going to bite me in the ass. Hmm. Shark bites. Proof by the foot's here for the long run. Oh, funny. See, for me, I would marry Gushers. Ooh. Because, you know, if you want one fruit snack for the rest of your life it's gonna be gushers let's be honest it's the best one out there you got a little let's take something the inside Doodle. you know plus the the you know squishy outside arms to tell you okay ah uh, but you know what between fruit by the foot and shark bites who would i fuck who would i kill that's that's a little difficult but i'm probably gonna kill fruit by the foot just because i think it's the most like useless fruit snack out there like it's just a long rope it's weird. But if, I feel like, all right, what if it was fruit roll-ups? Fruit roll-ups would definitely lose the fruit by the foot. Let's be honest. Fruit no, no, roll-ups no, fruit, fruit roll in the place of fruit by the foot. Yeah. Fruit fruit by the foot. Okay, fruit by the foot. Okay. okay fruit so roll-ups <laughs> suck, bro. Fruit roll-ups <laughs> suck. It's just a sheet. <laughs> but have you ever made a fruit roll-up Gushers taco? Yes. That's the only reason it's good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, whatever. We're going to move on to the next one. <laughs> If you could eliminate one state sports team, pro and college, what state would it be? I'm going to start actually with Will. Who do you think? Because, you know, big old Wisconsin fan over here. And, well, you know, we're not even going to. Get rid of the Patriots. Patriots? (laughs) Oh, so. Tom Brady's not winning winning any rings. 
Daniel won't be out here. Wait, I mean, he's not winning your rings anyway. You're already so gone. When we're talking about, are we, are we racing the history oh, yeah. of this horse? Let's, or let's define. Like right now, they're done. Like, everybody affiliated with that team is done as of right now. We gotta get specific. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's say the history. You know, we'll take oh, okay. all we'll take all all sports history from the city. We'll just take it and eliminate it. Let's do that. Oh. Take that out. <laughs> Go ahead, Will. Racing history. Racing history. Who are you racing? See, I'd like to say Chicago or the Bears or something, but you know, I I don't even like. So well, it's a whole state. So yeah. if you said if you said California, it would be way just like the, a, lot. <laughs> a lot. The Lakers would be gone. <laughs> yeah. um, the Rams, the Forty uh, ers mm-hmm. um, What are you taking you out? Name what are you taking out? I might just say California just to see what happens. Wow. <laughs> Somebody else's rule. Got it. Okay. So he just said, "Buy Kobe Bryant." Like, I your, mean, your rings don't matter. That basically. means that you're not gonna get Aaron Rodgers ever, because he came from Cali. And that means that means, that means none of his high yeah. school, none, none of his, his college, because he went to Cal. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have an Aaron Rodgers. So you screwed the Packers too. Well, he could still get drafted. <laughs> <laughs> but how he never played at all. <laughs> I mean, all right, no, but like we're saying from the entire history, so that's before Aaron Rodgers is born. So Aaron oh, Rodgers can true. pick a team that's outside of Cali. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. And then Kobe Bryant could play on a team that's not the Lakers. Who would you pick, Lindsay? Um, Texas. Texas. That <laughs> that was my pick too. Honestly, um, I hate the Cowboys fan. Fuck the Cowboys. <laughs> like, and it's not even like like any like malice towards like the people that play for Texas. No, honestly, they 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 have a lot of really respectable, very it's good their players. Fans. Their fan base is terrible. Their fans. Oh my God! Every year we can win it for what? Why? Yeah, they go How? like when? four and nine. When did you like? If we were like betting odds against the Cowboys fan, like, oh dude, I'd be rich, man, because they they throw the bank at it. Like, oh, it's their year every year. Yeah. Even though Andy Dalton's their quarterback. Shoot! <laughs> Come on, man. Every year is their year. Like, no. Nah. <sighs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Um. Would you have? Would you rather have your own personal bathroom or your own personal office? I can start this one off if you guys want. Personally, I don't bathroom. Now I don't. I've worked with with other people, and you know, I can get along. You know, whatever you could put in music, headphones, all that kind of stuff. But having your own personal bathroom, there's a little like sweetness in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, it's your own bathroom. Like. You don't got to worry about nobody else sitting on your toilet mm-hmm. and messing it up. I feel that. Yeah, I'm um, going back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go my, say my uh, own bathroom as well. Me uh, too. Solely because uh, I hate squatting. Like, oh, right. Like, dude, I can't touch the seat. So, like, have you ever <laughs> been in a bathroom where you're sitting there, like, contemplating if you're going to clean this shit? Or not take a shit at all? No, it's easily walk out. <laughs> just get out and like, just leave. And, and the thing is, is like, it's not even like bars that kill me. It like I'm, I'm talking about like going in schools and like seeing drizzle of water or pee. Uh, on and seat. you don't know what it is. And you're like, yeah, I'm not gonna touch. That. I'm not about to take. Uh, that so guess. where is this personal bathroom? I mean, well, let's just say you always got a personal bathroom wherever you go. Wherever you go, you like damn near, damn near, <laughs> like in a trailer, following you around like a personal like a you butler, know. yeah, <laughs> like a it's butler a, type. It's, you it's know. a pocket porta potty. Yeah, yeah, maybe a pocket. So no, no, but, but so cleaning the whole room. Right. Exactly. Yeah, but we don't we don't go in porta potty. So again, it's your personal bathroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. That's true. So like, if it's your own, like I take it. You know, that's fair. That's fair. Because yeah. again, when it's everybody else's porta potties are disgusting. When it's yours, it could be cleaner because you know what goes in and out of that thing. Yeah, that's fair. I got you. I'm going bathroom too. All right, all, all right. right let's move on to the next one. Is eating in bed gross? Depends on what you're eating. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's gross. I'm a victim of it. I, I do. I, I I try not to do it anymore now that right. you know, like we officially have different places to eat. Cause for a while, when I had a roommate, I mean, eating in the kitchen for me was a little rude because it's right. like. If I'm taking over the kitchen to eat, that means you have to delay whatever your plans are as my roommate. And then eating in the living room, I feel like if I'm eating and I'm watching TV, like, am I really paying attention to whoever I'm with? Right, so, right. eating in bed, I think it's gross because, like, you got crumbs, you got greasy fingers, and you sleep there. 
Right. And then probably, again, the reason that also makes it gross is like, I'm also somebody who's guilty of this. So like, I think it's gross to like lay in bed with your clothes on. I was I was actually just thinking the same thing. Like, do you do you actually like lay in bed with your like outside clothes on? Because if you think about it, you're dirtying everything up. So yeah, I, mean, it's, I, I think it's, it's gross. Yeah. I think it's gross. I always change. Do you have like a specific like? Well, I'd sleep in my homeware type. My of boxers. Wear. That's what I sleep in. Oh, I got I'm you. Like, I got you. If I get home from work or something, I change right away. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm a victim of being gross. Like, I'm a gross dude. <laughs> like, and it happens. Have you know. seen me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gross. And I think so, the worst thing you could possibly do is set up a TV in your room because then you're sitting there, like, wanting to sit in your bed, like, wanting to eat and watch TV or something like that. And I'm a victim of that, too. Like, I do that all the time. But, you know, um, I honestly think it's gross, too. But, I mean, I, don't, I haven't see personally messed up my bed and you know, spilled anything so bad. But I also choose what to eat in your bed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's different. Not eating spaghetti in your bed. Right, yeah. Like, I think, I think super table food should never go in your bed. Okay. D- define table food, though. Anything that you're going to cook on the stove or make, like, on the counter, like a sandwich or any of that. I think those foods should never go in your bed. But, like, snacks, okay. like popcorn, maybe a bag of chips, you know, the, the, the pantry snacks, All right, so I think, are fair game. Would you say uh, cereal counts as pantry snacks? No. Yeah. <laughs> No. All right, then I fucked up the other day. <laughs> <laughs> you put milk with it or just eat it out uh, the bag? Well, you know, okay. See, I'm not a child anymore. I don't eat dry cereal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I like milk in my cereal now. I'll be so honest. you have a whole bowl in your... <laughs> yeah, I'll sit in bed watching a little anime and I'll eat my cereal and everything. Jeez, don't, don't judge me. All right, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> That's the last one? Last card. Oh, would you rather have everything in your life, showers, weather, food, drinks... Be hot or cold? You said what? Like everything in your life. Shower, weather, food, drinks. Would you rather it be hot or cold? Ooh, drinks. That's the one that gets me. I don't like hot drinks. Yeah, see, everything on that list, I'd point to warm. Yeah, besides the drinks. Besides the drinks, because like I need a cold drink. I don't know. But I don't like being cold. So, okay, like so I'm torn, right? Okay. And it's not because it's like... I need a cold drink or anything because like I've had hot drinks like I like physically go out and I get like whiskey and coffee and but could you have to... could you have like warm water though yeah I don't like my water in the fridge I like room temperature water but I'm not saying it's not going to be room temperature anyway. it's going to be hot be, like not hot like but like like less than boiling but damn near like it says hot <laughs> okay yeah it's going to be hot it's going to be hot water like damn near hot chocolate but without the chocolate I mean constantly all the time for the rest of your life I learn to like tea you said you like tea? Yeah, like I, I, I'm learning to like it, so I, okay. I, I would go, yeah. And then really, I think uh, it's it's healthier on your body, in a way, like because it- To be warm? Yeah. It mm-hmm. is, yeah. Um, I, it does, like there's some kind of like scientific proof. You're not supposed yeah. to drink like cold water too much or something like that, but- It's gonna lower your internal body temp. Yeah, hey, it feels good, man, I'll be it honest. Does. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going hot too. I got hot showers, hot wa- weather. Always around the AC. Hot food. I feel like I like a lot more hot foods than cold foods. And then hot drinks. It's just guess I'm rocking with teas with Lindsay. Yeah, see I'm I'm gonna go hot, but I'm not rocking with teas. I'm gonna find a way to make warm and warm beer and Gross. warm water. Oh, work. Just, like, piss. I don't okay. know. Okay, maybe not warm beer. <laughs> <laughs> you lost me. Yeah. You have to switch to like I don't know. Ciders. But you know what? Germans do actually have some warm beers that they drink. You know? yeah, not sure. not like like warm, but like room temperature, I guess. But I mean, I pee then again, hot. <laughs> yeah. Then again, it's not room temperature, so I guess I'll throw that out. Oh, that's tough. Um, yeah, I mean, and again, it's it's because of how we're looking at the question. It has to be hot. Yeah, it has to be hot. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like when I go back to like going to the bars, like there was whiskey and coffee. There's whiskey that you can have in your hot chocolate. Like there's so many warm drinks that we look for. Like in like the winter yeah that like we can make work all year round you with could. the hot weather yeah it'll be different yeah it'll be very work. different well i mean it's gonna be hot weather year round at this point and too, then so. te- <laughs> technically uh gatorade like hot warm like it's not nasty it's not and it's, it gives and it, i would go there rather than the uh, water yeah actually i probably yeah. would too warm power rate even like yeah it's, it's not it's, not it's a vibe <laughs> like if that's your only option it works i mean now would you say hot gatorade I, who knows maybe we'll boil some and find out for oh you, god that hurt, that hurt. <laughs> 
sipping on hot Gatorade. We gotta ask our chemist. Can we boil out the electrolytes? Oh, that's a, yeah. That'd be a problem. We need we need electrolytes, man. That's that's what's healthy for you. <laughs> that's the healthy part of Gatorade. Uh, all right, man. We're out of cards. All right. So uh, that was categories for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let us know. Um, we actually, I got a couple questions. So down in the comments below, make sure you tell us who your sidekick would be. Um, whether you want hot everything or cold everything, because I think those are my two standouts. And then uh, whether you would fuck, marry, or kill gushers, fruit by the foot, or oh, for sure. shark bites. Or shark, shark bites. bites. Yeah, I want to know those. One. Like those are my like in my head. I'm like, ooh, you should want to mm. fuck gushers, but we we don't know. We we you know it's it's every it's different for everybody. You know, teachers it might choice. be a little different. Yeah. Yeah. So who knows? It's your boy Z. We got Sheesh <laughs> and Badowski, <Jake> <laughs> uh, and we are. Out. And me. Alright, boys. Mm-hmm.